Rose, and I am here today with five, count them, five diamond paintings and a drill left over from yesterday's video um, from a company that is new to me, and it is DIY Digital Art. I was approached by someone who I used to collaborate with at a different diamond painting store a while ago, and he, Ryan, is now with uh, DIY Digital Arts, and so he asked me if I would be interested in showcasing some of their products. So I said, sure I would. I'm always happy to bring new diamond painting stores to the attention of my viewers. So, I wanna start today with five items and then uh, either later this week or next week I will be making a video with another five items from this store um, and I am hoping to be amazed and I will share my feelings about all of these diamond paintings with you as we go through. Now for those of you who you know don't like the fact that my numbering of diamond paintings doesn't flow in order when I'm posting videos, this video is going to drive you crazy. Because about, a, I don't know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I did um, a quality control on my inventory. And I realized that somewhere along the line, I must have deleted four lines from, four or five lines, from my uh, inventory tracker, which is like an, a, a spreadsheet. And uh, I must have accidentally deleted rows that included diamond paintings on them because uh, I found a number, a bunch of numbers, uh, at least four, I think there might have been five, that weren't on my spreadsheet. Uh, and so rather than go through all of my canvases and try and figure out which ones were which, I just decided to reassign those numbers. And so that's what we've got here today is a bunch of reassigned numbers. And I think the next video will have another one of those reassigned numbers. Um, so, uh, because nature hate, hates a vacuum and Rose hates a spreadsheet that doesn't have every single inventory number accounted for. So, so here we go. T so today I'm gonna be opening number 112, 137, 237, 398, and 672 in that order. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that it matters, but that's what we're gonna do. So. Uh, let's see. And today uh, we have at least one rose tries. And uh, so we're going to do that one first. That's number 112. Uh, and this was one that was sent to me by Donna. And Donna was unsure whether this one would render well. And she wanted to know if it would look better in a 40 by 50. Okay, before I even look at it, I'm going to say... Donna, everything looks better in a 40 by 50. But if all you've got is a 30 by 40 that's on offer somewhere, let's see how it turned out. So this one here uh, is called Mundo Mariposa. And I just want to check and see if this is a stolen image. Just a second. Okay, so I just uh, went online and did a reverse image search for this again because it just struck me as something that, well, it, it looks too current to maybe be um, a legal image. But uh, I found the artist, her name is Sarah Richer, and I actually visited her Facebook page, uh, The Art of Sarah Richer. And um, people post all kinds of pictures of diamond art that they've done of her works from a whole bunch of different companies that I've never heard of. And um, so 
I am assuming that this one is also one that she's happy to have out in the world of diamond painting. Um, yeah, I don't do Facebook, but uh, I actually spent some time scrolling through her, her pages and um, she's got some beautiful art. And a lot of the art that we see in a lot of diamond painting stores are, um, are her works. And I saw one comment from a viewer who said that uh, she was waiting for one of the pieces that, you know, had been ordered uh, and, uh, and it had been taking a long time. And, and the art of Sarah Richard replied to her comment saying, I'm sorry, it's taking so long. Um, so I'm thinking she's okay with this. Uh, and if not, this is another video that I'll have to re-edit at a certain point, at, you know, another point in time. Um, but for now, I'm assuming that this is okay. This item I found out from her Facebook page is called Lady Moth. And um, I thought it was a beautiful image and I thought it's going to be way too small in a 30 by 40. But here's the thing. It's got that new printing printing technique where they uh, superimpose the symbols over top of the original image. So what we get is this fantastic detail. And because it's this new printing technique, uh, once you place drills, the original image that's printed on the canvas will show through between the drills. So you'll actually get a lot of the detail that would be lost if it was just square pixels. So my first impression of this is that it's gonna turn out gorgeous. And uh, yes, it would be better in uh, 40 by 50, but I think it's gonna look absolutely beautiful in this 30 by 40 which is not truly a 30 by 40 because 30 by 40 is the canvas size. Uh, the drill area is 25 by just short of 35. So we'll call it 25 by 35. There we go. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. So this has 22 colors. It comes with a standard kit. Absolutely nothing special about it. So let's take a look at the legend and the drill area before we take a look at the drills. All right. So, so far I'm not seeing anything that concerns me. I noticed that the DMC numbers are printed on both the canvas and the drill um, bags. So um, that's good. Yeah, no, nothing here looks confusing or anything. Let's take a look uh, at the drill area. And once again, uh, I don't know who does their, I don't know which factory it is that does the printing this way, but it is stunning and it makes for such a beautiful image and such a beautiful finished product. I'm working on one right now that is um, done in this way and it is just gorgeous. The amount of detail that you get is so much more than you would get from just round drills um, applied on a pixel, uh, like a, a little square of color. Yeah, it's, it's just, it makes all the difference in the world. And I find this extremely clear and legible. And I mean, look how close up we are and you see how our eye looks perfect. And you can see where, you know, there'll be little bits where, let's take a look at the eyebrow here, for example. It's not gonna be a perfectly smooth line for the eyebrow because, you know, the circles of the drills just won't fit that perfect line. But it looks really good. And because of the way it's printed, your eye fixes it in your mind, like your brain, fixes it because uh, your brain knows what it's supposed to look like so that even close up this is going to look spectacular um, yeah the symbols are super clear and legible I wish all diamond paintings were done this way 
for round drills. I seriously wish all diamond paintings were done this way. And I wouldn't be surprised if over time, more and more of them are done this way because it really makes a difference. Now, this here says Mundo Mariposa, and um, that's not going to be legible. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm putting up, or I have put up, don't know, the, uh, the image of this from the website, and I think you can read it. I think I could read it, because my original name for this, before I just checked uh, Sarah's Facebook page, was... Um, I originally called it Mundo Mariposa, um, but uh, but because that's what I could read on the uh, on the circle there. But um, yeah, she calls it Lady Moth. So look at this. I mean, it's just it's so beautiful. Wow. Okay, Donna, thank you so much because this was an image that attracted me, but I just thought there's no way it's going to turn out. So I wouldn't have ordered it if not for you asking me to. Uh, so um, yeah, it's I think it's beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the drills now. And just before we start looking at the drills, uh, another thing about this is it is sort of a um, confetti heaven. I mean, there are small runs of color, but uh, there's going to be a lot of color changing, so if you get bored with um, color blocking, uh, I think this is a really nice option for you. So we have 22 colors here. Let's take a look at them. And, um, oh, I think I have, I think I have a couple of ugly diamond paintings to show you. So I'll show you that in one of the other uh, items that we're going to look at today um, and I will just since this is a rose tries I will just flash up on the screen the information about the rose tries program or series if you will uh, and how you can ask me to try a diamond painting for you before you buy it so that you'll be you know confident that when you buy a diamond painting, it's going to look nice because nobody wants to spend their hard-earned money on a diamond painting that, you know, they get and it's not what they expected or not what they hoped uh, or not a good ren uh, rendering of the uh, image that was on the website. So um, if you come across a diamond painting like that in one of the stores that's listed on your screen right now, you can send me an email at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com and uh, include the link and put rose tries in the subject line of the email and ask me to try it for you. And um, if it's a, an image that I uh, think is um, uh, sort of consistent with the types of image that I would show on my channel, then I'm more than happy to try it for you and hopefully we'll both be pleasantly surprised um, as I'm sure we will be uh, Donna and I with this image uh, which has turned out so much better than I thought it would oh my god um, yeah so so that is what the Rose Tries program is about. I'll always respond to you and let you know whether I'm going to try your item or not. Okay, so uh, that is uh, Lady Moth number 112. And um, I'm just going to put this all away and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, this is our first one. Uh, 112 Lady Moth by Sarah Richter. And I call it a great big humongous win. So number two is my number 137, which again is, uh, I had to open all of these before I came on because uh, DIY Digital Arts doesn't use the SKU number in their um, web links. And so when I do a search on the SKU, the item doesn't come up on my inventory. The only way I can tell what's going to be inside the bag is to actually open it up and just look at it enough to identify which diamond painting it is. So this one here 
is uh, one that I call False Face. And it is a beautiful um, special shape diamond painting. And I quite like this one. And I, I don't usually, for some reason, I don't usually do a lot of people uh, in special shape diamond paintings. Hold on, let me raise this up a little bit. Um, but when I saw this, I thought, I gotta try it. Uh, and it looks like it's almost all crystal drills with a few exceptions, uh, which we'll see in a little bit. Um, let me flatten it out and then we'll take another look at it. Okay, so this one here did arrive with some pretty serious uh, folds in the canvas, which is not a big deal because I will iron it on general, on fairly low heat. Um, I use the wool setting for my iron. If you don't know what that is, um, you can look it up on Google and Google will tell you what temperature that is. Uh, and I always iron it face down. I put a wet cloth, a very wet cloth over top, let that iron get nice and hot at the wool setting or just a titch above the wool setting and then iron it until the creases flatten out. And then you'll have a beautiful diamond painting that will have no creases if you want to um, hang it or show it in any way. Or even if you don't, if, you, if you're like me and you just like to do these diamond paintings and not necessarily put them up, uh, you'll at least have a diamond painting that has no creases in it, um, which always looks better. Um, so my first impression of this is that it's very pretty. Uh, 12 colors, well, 12 different kinds of drills. They, they might have multiple drills of the same color. Um, let's take a look at the image area, which is probably about 24 by 34 maybe 25, we'll see. It is 24 by just under 34. Okay. And let's take a look quickly at the legend and the image area. Has legends in both corners and I like the fact that they've given uh, identification numbers to the different drills that they have. Uh, that makes it a lot easier for me to put away my leftover drills. So as you see, they're almost all round drills with this uh, number 12 exception. And we'll see those in just a moment. And then the drill area is just a very simple um, symbols on the canvas. There's not gonna be any problem uh, reading this. I never have to use a light pad to work on special shape diamond paintings. Uh, so um, I would expect that you won't either. There's nothing wrong with using a light pad if you want to, but uh, for something like this, I wouldn't need to. Which is good because usually I'm working on something like this over top of a larger diamond painting. Um, that, you know, I work on in between smaller diamond paintings. So, uh, yeah, no, this is really nice. Okay, let's take a quick look at the drills and the toolkit, which is, again, a very standard toolkit. It's all I need. Uh, actually, I don't need those toolkits because I have um, so much, so much, in terms of toolkit type stuff and um, custom pens and all sorts of stuff. So I, I could be very happy with uh, diamond paintings that don't include toolkits. But there's so many new diamond painters that it's important that they send a toolkit because they don't know if the diamond painter that's going to get it has ever done one before or if it's going to be given to somebody who's never done one before. Okay, so first off we have these beautiful rounded top teardrop shaped red drills that have the iridescent coating on them. I love those. But of course I love every kind of special drill. So, you know, for me to say I love it, it's like what else is new? Uh, and then we have these teensy tiny little, what I call pedal drills. Uh, another viewer told me what she calls them. 
And I thought, yeah, that works too. Uh, I can't remember what, what she said she calls them, but I call them little petal drills because they're often used as petals on small flowers. Um, and these are very pretty. And then we have these blue, oh, these are faceted. These are faceted. Are they? Are they all faceted? Hold on. Yeah, I think they're all faceted. Okay, I was going to say, I, I um, was working on uh, a diamond painting last night that used these uh, blue cabochons, but these are faceted. Uh, so, okay, so that's nice. And then, oh, this is such a pale, pale pink. And it's, it's almost like a pink champagne or almost like a candy floss pink. Very, very pretty for a crystal drill. Yeah, I like that. And then here, okay, here we have an interesting mix. It's uh, a whole bunch of, it's two different colors of drills in this bag. And I am not sure, what number is that? That's number six. I'm just going to take a minute. Yeah, um, so they have two different colors of drills in here. And... Maybe it's just maybe it's just a few of the red ones that they have because they have the pink ones and the red ones. Um, I there's quite a few of the red ones in here. So uh, my concern is that uh, when they were packaging this, and I wouldn't expect the same thing to happen in your kit because this is just sort of you know the machine goes a little fritzy when it's it, uh, when it's filling these bags. Um, I'll use the lighter pink drills because they're they're darker than this, you know, what I call candy floss pink. Um, I'll use the lighter pink drills and uh, maybe, I don't know. I'll have to see, I might do this color last and then use whatever, whichever of these two colors I think will look best on the diamond painting. Uh, and right now, I have so many leftover crystal drills from other special kits, uh, special shaped kits, that I'll be, if, if there's not enough of whichever color I choose to use, I will be able to make it up from my stash. So that's not a concern for me. And that's something, if you're working on a special shapes kit and, you know, you run out of, you know, one of the colors of drills for whatever happened, for whatever reason, it doesn't happen often. But I'm, oh, I forgot to blow this way up. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen from time to time. Oh, see, those are the reds that belong here. Okay, so it is the pale pink that belongs in this bag. And then we get over here and those other reds belong here. Um, because that's the color that they are, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so I just sort of go to my stash of leftover drills and use the best equivalent. And you know what? Only you will ever know that you had to switch um, types of drills or, or uh, have a slight color change. I, I have stopped fussing about it. It's like, of course, I would prefer that there always be enough drills to finish a diamond painting um, and a special shapes diamond painting at that. But... I'm not going to stress about it. They always look beautiful when they're done. So, you know, life's too short to get upset about little things like that. And then I haven't, I know I didn't tell you what some of these other ones were, but, um, but you have eyes. And if you want, you can go back and look at it. If you were diamond painting or doing something else, these are really pretty. These are, you know, bigger and where do they go? Oh, okay. They go here on let's just zoom back out a little bit so they go here on the uh, side the little dangly things hanging off the mask yeah that's pretty and finally oh look at this we have three of these uh, smallish red cabochons I have lots and lots of these um, but it looks like we only need one yeah it looks like we only need one up here in the forehead area of the mask so oh and another one down here so they sent an extra one good for them okay so um that's it let's just make sure I have all of the colors that I need so I have 
Uh, I have nine in the strip, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, yeah, 10, 11, and 12. So I have everything I need. Very good. All right, I am going to put these drills away and I will be right back. Okay, so um, that's number 137, uh, what I call false face. And um, I think it's really cute. I think it's gonna look nice. Now, when um, Ryan contacted me, I told him that I would do uh, four of the diamond paintings that he sent me within four months, or within two months uh, of receiving them. And uh, so this will be one of the ones that I work on. I might do uh, I might do the uh, butterfly uh, girl as, or the lady moth as well because I'm dying to see how that one turns out. Uh, and I'll do at least two others uh, in the next little while. And um, so not with a penny pick. And then the other six diamond paintings in this order will go into my penny jar or my um, my big projects jar and they'll be done at random whenever I pick them. Uh, so you'll be seeing this one and the uh, Lady Moth done uh, fairly soon. Okay, so let's carry on. Whoops, I forgot to label my diamond painting. Can't do that. All right, there we go. There we go, okay. So uh, next up is uh, number 237, and this one here is, uh, oh, it's a big one. Okay, so I am going to have to raise you way, way up, and you'll get to see my messy desk and messy floor, because that's where I put my stuff while I'm recording my videos. Um my messy desk. It's a messy table. It's a coffee table, for goodness sake. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is one, I wanted to try one of their multi-panels. And so, this is one of their multi-panels. And it's a large diamond painting, and I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Uh, okay, so this one is done in the style of uh, the pixels. So uh, let me just make sure. Let's see what kind of. Oh, this is interesting. Each panel has its own legend. Cool. Uh, I hope that each legend is exactly the same so that I don't have to kit up five separate um, kits. No, it's, yeah, they're all the same. Okay. Um, so let me rearrange my workspace here. And I will show you, just so I can get it out of the way, the toolkit for this uh, diamond painting. There are two of them, identical. Uh, no baggies. That's fine. Okay. So this is um, a five panel. Uh, and I call it butterflies, yeah, butterflies and flowers. And I thought it was gonna be just beautiful. And the colors on the canvas, I'm telling you right now, are very muted because these are the colors in the drill bags. Because I'm looking at this and thinking, why would I have selected pastels? I don't like pastels. These are not pastels. These are very bright, vibrant colors. This diamond painting is gonna look amazing when it's done. Um, now it doesn't have that same clarity because this is just pixels on the canvas, which is what I'm gonna call the old way of doing diamond paintings uh, with round drills. Um, it doesn't have the original image printed on the canvas with the drill uh, circles superimposed on top of it. So uh, all you'll ever see is just the color of the drill, uh, little squares of color of drill, which your eyes turn into a, a smoother uh, image, especially the farther you get away from it. Um, so this one here, it looks nice, I think. I think it looks really nice. And it's got the butterflies and it's got the bright flowers and 
Uh, it's a lot of confetti, actually. Um, because it's, it's a busy diamond painting. Uh, so, yeah, I think this one's going to look really, really nice when it's done. Uh, let us take a look at the legend. Oh, my goodness. Okay, talk about overkill. So, <laughs> this diamond painting has legends on both sides of each and every one of the panels. So there are 10 legends on this diamond painting, which I find crazy, man. Crazy. But okay, I'll, I'll, I, I, think it's, I think it's funny. Um, now what you could do is cut this up and put them away uh, in individual um, pictures, uh, pictures, panel pieces. Um, and I might actually do that. Maybe not. Nah, I'll just keep it all together. What I might do is start cutting it up as I finish a panel. Uh, because this will go into my small projects jar and there will be five coins that have um, number 237 and it'll be 237.1, 237.2, etc. Uh, and then each time I pick one of those coins, I will do that panel. And they label the panels for you, so I don't even have to do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. this looks really good. Really good. And like I say, it's going to look even better when the beautiful bright colored drills are put on there. So let's take a look at uh, the legend for uh, one of these. Now what I'm going to do is compare uh, the legends for uh, the two most different colored panels just to make sure that the legends are the same. So just one second. So I compared this panel to this panel and the uh, legends are exactly the same. Uh, and I also just sort of did a quick check and um, it turns out that they both have all of the colors. So, uh, or at least, like, I didn't check absolutely everything, but it looks like they all have all of the colors. And remember how I said at the very beginning that this is much more muted than what I remember the image looking like on the website? And I mean, the image has been up on your screen, so you know what it looks, what it looks like on the website. So you see here this 310, it's actually like an olive green on the canvas. So, um, so black is not olive green so <laughs> this is going to be much more lively when you see it which is good because it would have broken my heart if this came out all muted colors all right uh so let's take a look at the legend and yeah you see how that 310 is i don't know if you can see it like i'm looking at it through the camera and it looks kind of black but with my eyes, it is very clearly like an olive green. Um, and that might just be because of the way the light's coming in. So this looks pretty clear. And uh, just quickly taking a look, we'll just take a look at uh, one of the panels here so that you can see. Since, well, I'll, I'll show you all of the panels, I guess. Uh, we'll go quickly through the other four because uh, like I say, all of the symbols seem to appear on all of the canvas uh, parts. So um, if they're printed clearly on one, they're going to be printed clearly on the other. And this is actually much easier to read on the canvas than it even is on the legend. So this is a really, really nice um, rendering on the canvas uh, with the um, symbols. Now I notice that 3865 is a Z, and it makes me crazy when they make 3865s or 5200s uh, big symbols. Uh, and Z is a big symbol. Like, I would much rather prefer that it be a 1 or an I or even a 0. Um, but Z is, it takes up a lot of space, and it fills kind of all four corners of, you know, the uh the symbol so placing a drill on a z there's a lot greater uh probability that you're going to 
just have that drill a smidge off. So what this means is it's going to be um, really important to be very precise when I'm placing my drills so that none of that Z shows. And the W, um, the only thing that could have been worse than a Z would be to have the W be the, 50, uh, the 3865. Um, but they didn't do that. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, uh, let's take a quick look at the other panels just so that you know you can be confident that you're going to be able to read all of this well. And I am not seeing anything that troubles me at all. Um, you might have noticed these threes when we see them up here all together. Uh, they're probably the least legible of all the symbols. And even those are quite legible. So I'm not, I'm really not worried about it. Um, this is going to be nice to work on. Very, very nice to work on. And like I say, it's going to look really pretty when it's all done. So I think we've looked at three of them so far. So let's take a look at these last two. You know, with the numbering of my diamond paintings, the, the inventory numbers being so wonky, it's like my whole video is going to be kind of wonky. Like normally I approach going through the canvas and looking at the drills in a somewhat routine manner where this one I'm just kind of jumping all over the place and that's okay because I know most of you are not even looking <laughs> which is fine okay so this is the last panel oh I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful yeah just beautiful and let's just zoom back out for a little bit yeah, it's going to look very pretty. Okay, um, what haven't I done? I have not measured this baby yet. So let's put you back in the cradle and I will do a measure. Now, usually what I do is I measure from one end of the can, like one end of one drill area to the end of the other drill area. I am not going to do that in this case because they have printed those legends on in such a way that you can't actually hang this with the um, legends showing. You're going to have to cut it up. I suppose you could paint over the legends, but then you'd have like huge strips of whatever color you paint uh, in between each panel. And I think that probably wouldn't look good. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a much simpler approach. And I'm just going to uh, keep that there so that I can write my um, numbers on it. So each panel is 15 centimeters and I'll just, I'll just double check. Yeah, each panel is 15 centimeters across. So that's 75 centimeters altogether. And so number one and number five are 22 centimeters. And number two and number four are 30 centimeters. it's got 25 colors and number three panel number three is I bet you it's gonna be 38 centimeters and there we go it is 38 and a half so we'll call it 39 because I always round up from the half centimeter okay so uh, that is the uh, dimensions of this one. So essentially 25, uh, sorry, 75 centimeters wide if you were to um, close the space in between each panel. And uh, at the highest, it's 30 centimeters. So 
it's it's a good size diamond painting. There's there's hours and hours of fun here. Um, okay, so let's now take a look at the gorgeous drills. Oh my goodness, these colors. These colors are just spectacular. I love them so much. Uh, okay, so we see that there are DMC numbers on the canvas, but they are not on the bags. So um, that's fine. As long as it's in one place, I'm a happy girl. And I just realized I have to speed this up because I have to go pick up my gro grocery order between now and an hour from now. So I cannot dawdle. So during the drill review for this diamond painting, I will be showing some of the ugly diamond paintings that have been sent to me. I think I had received two as of just before I started recording. And uh, there may be a few more. Oh my God, these colors are so beautiful. Let's just take a moment, shall we? And take a look at all of these fantastic colors. Oh my God, the colors are just stunning. I love them. I love them. And yeah, okay. So we'll start at the end. This is number 25. I'm this up. So, uh, yeah, there were two ugly diamond paintings, and I will put them in starting right now. And if there were more than two, there will be more than two. I won't have more than about a three-second break in between them, so if you want to look down, uh, you'll know that if there's more than three seconds after one of the uh, pictures goes up, that's the end of the ugly diamond paintings for today. So, for those of you who don't know what the ugly diamond painting thing is, um, all of us, when we are shopping for diamond paintings, see diamond paintings that just either turn our stomach or make us wonder what kind of person would want to spend hours and hours over potentially weeks or months to work on that piece of ugliness. Or, in some cases, we see a beautiful image on a website, we order it, and we get something that looks unrecognizable from the original image. And in that case, it breaks our hearts. Um, and some people will throw their diamond paintings away, some people will, uh, you know, do it, but then relegate it to, you know, I don't know, line the birdcage or something. Um, I want to see all of those ugly diamond paintings. So, and I think we all want to see all of those ugly diamond paintings. So, if you send them to me at ramblingrosedp, all one word, at gmail.com, uh, and put ugly diamond painting in the subject line. If it's a um, diamond painting that you saw on a website, uh, include the link to that diamond painting so that I can confirm that it's just that it's not just an ugly image that you found online somewhere. Uh, I want to know that it's an actual diamond painting that's being offered for sale. Uh, or if it's one of your own, you can send me a, a picture that you take, a, a photo that you take of either the canvas while it's unfinished or the finished canvas. And um, if you want to send me like a few words, really not many because there's not a lot of space uh, for me to add text below uh, the pictures, uh, the way I show them, uh, I will be happy to add a few words. I'll include your first name, or if you want to be anonymous, I'll, you know, call you anonymous, or if you want to go by a different name, you know, Joan of Arc or something like that, I'm good with Joan of Arc. Uh, and I'll, I will only identify you in whatever way you wish to be identified. And so then all of us get the pleasure of... Um, looking at these truly frightful, in some cases, diamond paintings. Now, many people don't find them frightful. Many people find them rather beautiful, and that's why they will spend weeks or months of their lives looking at these horrendous images. Well, horrendous to you and I. Um, but... That is how the world turns. 
And as my grandmother used to say, if there were no ditch diggers, life would not be good. Okay. Now, ditch diggers don't di dig by hand, so you know, you have large machine or I don't know, large machine operators. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna label all this stuff because I forgot to do that earlier, and I will be right back. Okay, so um, that's it for the number 237 Butterflies and Flowers, the five panel from DIY Digital Art. I love it. I love it. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of the ones that will go into the penny pick jar uh, to be done at some future time. Okay, next up is a little tiny one. This is another Rose Tries, and this is number 398. This one here is a, oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not the one. Nah. Okay, uh, so I realize now that I made a mistake and I pulled out uh, the wrong um, bag to show you. So this one, because I plan all of my videos in advance. So uh, ignore what I said at the opening about 398. It's 396 that we're opening. And 396 is a rose tries that I got from my viewer Celine. And so this here is the simplest diamond painting that I have ever received in my life. Uh, it's got a simple kit and it has exactly one bag of drills. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one here I call Scrolled Birds. They call it Phoenix but I wouldn't give it any such lofty a name. So just a second, let me uh, flatten it out just a wee little bit here. Oh, this one's gonna go really fast. All right, <laughs> drill review will be super easy. Okay, so drilled, uh, scrolled birds rather, uh, and Celine wanted to know what part of this diamond painting is partial. She was concerned with the rendering. Well, Celine, the partial part of this is the birds, and they are just outlined on the canvas with these yellow drills, which I will show you, and then our drill review is done. Um, and I think that this one here might have had the one of the images of the item might have been this image here or it might have been this one here which they call the stick drill site so that you can see what part will be drilled uh anyway it is the simplest diamond painting i have ever received um so uh i'm fine with that uh let's measure the drill area not the drill area let's measure the um the image area it's 34 and a half centimeters by 24 and a half centimeters so we'll call it 35 by 25. wow it's actually going to take me longer to write up the identification information than um <laughs> than it is to, to do the rest of the <laughs> review oh my goodness okay okay so um essentially that's it this is this is the scroll of birds um i guess i should show you up close what the canvas looks like uh there is just one item uh there is no dmc number uh yeah there is no dmc number um so it's just like this lovely golden yellow um, and this is what the canvas looks like. It's, I would say that I have never found a canvas that is so easy to read. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't get much simpler than this. This would actually be a great diamond painting to give to a child to start with a round diamond painting. Like, you know, if they've moved on from, uh, let's say, you know, some of the little special shape diamond paintings or something like that, and, and you've got like, you know, maybe an eight or nine year old who wants to try, um, or if you've got, you know, like a disabled adult or something like that that wants to try diamond painting, uh, you might want to start with something super simple like this because it is super cheap like this cost four dollars and fourteen cents Canadian so that's three something American um, and if they don't like it fine if they do like it well then you can go on and get them something that's a little bit more challenging for later but somebody's first project is always something that they're gonna love and um, so yeah I, I actually I think there is a great use for something like this. So this is going to be one of the ones that I finish uh, because I'll be able to do it in, I don't know, half an hour or so maybe. And um, yeah, so I'll show this to you in an upcoming video. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take this bag of drills to the canvas because... <laughs> Because I'm going to do it, like, probably today. I don't want to tape it to the plastic. So, there we go. All right. So, this one is ready to work on. Oh, I made up the identification sheet, and I absolutely didn't need to. Okay. Uh, all right. So, now we just have one more. And this one is another very large one. So, uh, let's take a look at it. This is number 672. So this brings us back to our uh, standard numbering. And I thought this one would be really, really pretty. And I hope that it will be. So this is another one that's done in, I'm going to call it new style, where uh, the image is printed on the canvas and then uh, the, the drills, uh, the drill placement is sort of printed, uh, superimposed on top of that original image. So I can tell you right now that this is going to look absolutely stunning. I call this one fruitful. And I'll show you the whole canvas in just a second. Uh, let me show you the kit that comes with it. Two bags plus standard kit. Very good. Um, I'm going to flatten it out just a tad. Okay. So, this is fruitful. Isn't that just beautiful? I think it's lovely. Super simple, super lovely. Um, and the detail is just going to be amazing. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look first at the legend. And as we see, it's a nice simple legend. Um, that L looks like it, you know, might be a little bit difficult to read and the N but uh, we'll compare those in just a moment. Everything else looks good. The R and the B, we'll check for that as well. Um, yeah, no, that's good. Um, DMC numbers are on the canvas, but not on the bags of drills. So let's take a look at this canvas. So, so far, wow, lots of color blocking, which is good. Because, well, I mean, there's some confetti thrown in. Um, it's actually, okay, let's just zoom back out again. It's actually a really nice blending of colors. Because then you get, you don't get the sense of a harsh line between those otherwise what would be bands of color. They do a really nice job of mixing them together there. So I like that. Then we've got the little birdie. 
yeah, I think it's a birdie. Uh, and then I think these are, what are they? Raspberries? I don't know. I have no idea. But I thought they were beautiful, so <laughs> I wanted to get them. And here we have many of those colors that I was concerned about. So we have the R and the B, no confusion there. We have the L and the N, no confusion there. Yeah, maybe you'd want to use a light pad for this, but I don't think you'd have to. Um, I think this is going to look really, really nice. Wow. Yeah. No, everything else is just as clear as clear could be. Beautiful. And I now have only 40 minutes to get to the grocery store within my pickup window for the order that I placed. So I am going to kind of race through this. Yeah, this is very, very clear. Oh my goodness. I'm really glad I got this. You know, I'm never sure whether it's going to be the pixel printing or the new printing. And, um, you know, I don't want to diss pixel printing because pixel printing does a really nice job. But pixel printing would not give you this. Yeah, no, this, this is lovely. Okay, let's take a look at the drills now. It's such a rush, I forgot to measure. Let's measure. All right, so it is 40 centimeters across and 79 centimeters high. Now this is another one that's going to go into my penny pick jar. Well, it'll be, yeah, it'll be, this one will be in the quarter pick jar, like the big coin jar, because it's a big project. Uh, and I'm going to do it like all at once kind of thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, this one will not be a quick finish. Okay, so let's just quickly take a look at uh, all of the colors here together before we look at them in detail. That's going to be so pretty. All right, so what I want to talk about while we're doing drill review on this is DPF Spring Fling 2021. That's a hashtag. Hashtag DPF Spring Fling 2021. Uh, and you'll notice I have that hashtag in the description to this video, and I've got it up on the screen right now. And what that is, is uh, it's essentially like a drill along that is starting in, um, it's starting officially on March 20th and it finishes officially on June 19th. And Cindy, whose last name I can't remember, from England, I think Essex, is um, the mastermind and organizer between uh, hashtag DPF Spring Fling 2021. And it is an opportunity for all of us diamond painters to pick any diamond painting or diamond paintings that we wish that remind us of spring or Easter. She all, she actually calls it uh, spring flings and Easter things. So any diamond painting that gives you any idea whatsoever about spring. Uh, so, you know, she's got a cottage, I think, that she's going to do. People are doing butterflies and flowers. And uh, I've got, like, a raccoon with the Easter egg. And I've got a daisy wall tassel. And, you know, any uh, flower diamond paintings that I'm going to do between March 20th and March and February 19th will be, um, will be part of the Spring Fling 2021. And what you do, uh, if you want to participate, is first off, I will include a link down below to, and up in the corner here, uh, in case you want to scoot away from this video, uh, I will include a link uh, up in the corner with the little eye and in the description box to uh, Cindy's uh, video 
that I watched last night that explains the Spring Fling and Easter Things 2021, all the rules, etc. The basic rules are you have to register. Uh, and there is a Google Doc that, uh, well, it's a form actually, and you just fill in the form. I will include the link to that down below so that you can um, become a part of it. And it'll ask you to include a picture of one of the diamond paintings that you plan to start no sooner than March 20th. You cannot include a diamond painting that you put a single drill on before March 20th in the spring flames. Um, anyway, so it'll ask you for a little bit of information and she'll explain quite well uh, what uh, spring flings and Easter things is all about and the rules and all that. Um, but basically what she'll be asking is you can kit up a diamond painting before March 20th, but don't place a single drill. And then after that, you can uh, send or uh, upload pictures to Instagram or her Facebook, which is Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, and anyway, I'll let her explain it because she'll explain it way better than me. Um, and she, she repeats multiple times so that if you don't get it the first time, like I didn't, uh, you'll hear the same message again and again repeated. So by the end of the video, you should understand all the rules. And um, yeah, so it's kind of like a fun thing. And I plan on doing it. And guess what? She's having weekly prizes that she chooses at random. So... Um, you know, she and, and she makes it very, very clear that there's no uh, there's no prize for the most completed diamond paintings or the biggest completed diamond painting or anything like that. The the um, the prizes each week are 100 percent random for people who have registered with one of those Google forms. You only register once. So, you know, if you're going to do three or four diamond paintings during that period that qualify as spring fling in your mind, uh, you only fill out that uh, form once. After that, she will be able to keep track of who you are. Um, and anyway, I think it's going to be fun. And uh, Cindy is just a lovely woman who uh, is doing this because she wants to bring joy and togetherness and community to the community and so I just want to uh, help her in any small way that I can and the small way that I can do that is by uh, publicizing it on this channel and so one of the hashtags to this video will be hashtag DPF which stands for diamond painting fanatics which is Cindy's channel hashtag DPF spring fling 2021 um, yeah, so I would encourage you, partake of this, uh, activity. It makes Cindy so happy when, you know, people sign up and, uh, and she's so excited that she's got people from, you know, all over the world. Let's see how many new places, uh, she can get people from. Cause one of the things that you have to fill out on that form is the city and country that you live in. So, um, so yeah, it, I think it's going to be super fun and let's do it and let's do it for ourselves. Let's do it for each other. Let's do it for the prizes and let's do it for Cindy because she deserves it. Okay. That's it, everybody. Um, this video is now finished and I'm going to pick up my groceries. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank Ryan, who is such a fantastic collaborator. And Ryan, I am so, so glad that you remembered me from our previous working relationship and that you got in touch with me again. I'm delighted to showcase uh, the beautiful works from DIY Digital Arts. And I am, I love every single one of the pieces that I've opened today. I think every one of them is gonna be great for um, 
me to do, for other people to do, uh, for new diamond painters to do, for people with, uh, you know, who have mobility issues, what well, mobility, you know, hand, um, um, can't remember what you call it, hand agility. Anyway, uh, I think there's something here for everybody. And this is just a teeny tiny little smidge of what uh, DIY Digital Arts has to offer. And so, go and visit them. I have the links to all of these diamond paintings down below. I will be coming back with a second video of uh, five more pieces from DIY Dig Digital Arts uh, very soon. And so we'll be able to explore a bunch more of their great diamond paintings. So I would like to finally thank all of my patrons, my viewers, and my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, take a minute, subscribe. If you're not a patron yet, you could become a patron. You don't have to become a patron, but you could because it's fun. We talk on Zoom and we get to know each other and we laugh and we diamond paint together and it's a great time. So there you go, everybody. Have fun and come back and visit with me again tomorrow. I love you. Bye-bye.